What is good, everybody? Welcome back to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, we're going to be talking about MDT Hell's Gate. I literally get questions every single day talking about MDT Hell's Gate, and that's good. I'm very excited for that. I'm glad for that. I freaking love that. I love that you guys are waiting on this show, and I'm freaking hyped for it. Of course, we are three shows away before we get there, but it is nice to know that people are excited, people are ready, and uh, they're ready to go. But there's something that I need from you guys, and that is what today's video is about. We're not only going to dive into some information about the show, but we're also going to talk about some things regarding the stage and regarding the ring and things of that nature. Uh, I did reveal some stuff on Twitter, so if you guys follow me on Twitter or you saw it, um, I don't think that many people, I think like 25 people may have liked the tweet, I don't know. So I know a lot of you haven't seen it just yet, but anyways, let's go ahead and dive right in, guys. Today, I have a challenge for all of you today. We're going to go through some concepts for the MDT Hell's Gate stage that I am thinking about, and I really think that you guys could help me out. I think that you guys have a lot of great ideas, and I would really appreciate it if you guys would help me out on this. So you guys will see here on the screen that I'm going to pull up some different photographs of some concepts of the stage that I would like to do. Of course, these are like generated or created by an artist and, you know, just referring to legitimately Hell's Gate. So what I did was I just looked up Hell's Gates, you know, some concept arts and things of that nature, and these were the photographs that came up, and I figured, you know, this would be a really good starting place for what I want to create. You guys know that uh, we always do a custom stage. We always do a custom stage for every show because I think it's very important to keep things fresh and everything like that. I think that it's very vital to do that, so that is what we wanted to do today for MDT Hell's Gate, and uh, of course, we're going to do that for every single show. There will not ever be an MDT pay-per-view where there's not a unique stage build. That's just how I feel about it. I think it's very important important and it you know it makes it very boring I feel if you have the same exact stage every single show kind of like how WWE does it uh, I want to go back to how they used to do it when they used to have a, a unique stage design for every single show so that's what we're going to do here of again with Hell's Gate and I'm very excited for it because there's so many crazy things you can do with this and this is where you guys come in because um, while I have had great ideas for other stage designs you know Blackout, Money in the Bank, Sold Out and um, of course the Royal Rumble um, I think we want to get better and better every single time right so with Hell's Gate, I want to do something elaborate. I want to do something over the top. And I want to do like some big doors, like legitimately Hell's Gate, because that's what the show's called. I want to have a big Hell's Gate uh, for the superstars to come out of. And I want some cool surrounding imagery and things of that nature. Maybe some skulls, maybe some flames, uh, maybe a devil head, some, some things of that nature. And so this is where you guys come in. I want you guys to draw up a concept or... If you have any ideas, if you have any cool designs, elements you want to do, you can either draw it up, you can render it up, you can hit me up uh, on Instagram and just send me your thoughts and ideas on the show's stage design. I would really appreciate that. That is where you guys can uh, do that. You can hit me up at my damn toys on Instagram. You can hit me up in my email. Anything cool, if you want to draw it up, that would help me a lot if you drawed it up or just explained in detail what you're thinking. But I would really appreciate it. I think that is something that is going to be really cool about the show is the stage design. And I think it's very important, again, that we have a really unique stage design, and that is what I want. So I want to uh, to get some help from you guys. I figured you guys are awesome. You guys come up with ideas all the time in the comment section, so why not? Hit me with some ideas down in the comment section below. If you want to contact me directly, again, hit me on Instagram at MyDamnToys. Hit me in the email section and hit me up and let me know uh, what you're thinking. I've drawn up many concepts. I've had many ideas for it, and uh, I, I obviously am not going to reveal the stage until we do the MDT Hell's Gate Arena Tour because you guys know we always do an arena tour when it comes time. So that is something we will do uh, when it is time, when the stage is complete, when the ring's complete and everything like that. But uh, one thing I wanted to say is like I thought about doing Iron Gates and you know like the classic gate style, sort of like Gotham City style gates or you know Batman Mansion uh, style gates that you guys can see out of some you know rich homes and things of that nature. You can see them on the screen here. These are gates that I thought about using and then I was like that's kind of lame. I just... I don't know. I didn't feel like that would be as grand and as big. So I figured why not do, you know, big giant Hell's Gates, like big stone, like massive looking nice, you know, some good imagery on there that would tie in nicely. And I think this would be the best way to go is with the bigger gates instead of those small iron gates that swing open. I, I mean, those aren't bad by any stretch of the imagination. However, I want to do something bigger and better. And that is what I'm thinking right there with this. So uh, that is the first thing that I want to talk about or the couple 
couple things that I wanted to talk to you guys about. And again, if you want to hit me up with any ideas, please hit me at my damn toys on Instagram or hit me on email at my damn toys at gmail.com. But anyways, guys, moving forward, the other announcement that I had on my Twitter account that I talked about is that I think I'm going to be going with orange ring ropes. Yes, orange ring ropes for the ring. You guys know what the MDT Hell's Gate logo looks like. So I think I want to do orange ring ropes. I think this will give the show a better feel. You know, it'll break up that black. And if we go white canvas, black ring skirt with orange ring ropes, I think that would look the best. Maybe we can do black ring posts. I'll have to see about that. We'll have to see if I can get some of those ordered in here. And I think that would really tie everything together. It kind of look kind of Halloween-y, but I mean, Halloween is kind of coming up anyway. Halloween is coming up. That was funny. But Halloween is coming up, and I think that would really tie everything together, break it up. A lot of people said to, you know, put a black rope in the middle, but I don't know if I like that. Some people mentioned maybe doing a ye one yellow rope, one red rope, and one orange rope, but I don't know if I like that either. I just like that the, the Hell's Gate logo is pretty much completely orange with, like, some gray accents and some, like, lighter orange. So I feel like a really, you know, saturated, nice orange color that's the same as the MDT Hell's Gate logo would probably be the best. And uh, you guys can see here by the image. This image is from AFW underscore animations on Instagram and he actually used some orange ring ropes for this custom ring I do believe that's what it is but these are kind of lighter I would be going with a darker orange or more saturated orange like I talked about I think that that would look a lot better to do uh, like you saw in the boxing ring like you see um, on the still images of the of the ring ropes that we're going to be ordering and I think these will look a whole lot better than the lighter ropes I just think it ties in better to the logo again the logo looks way better with the darker orange and the saturated once you put it over to a black ring skirt we get the arena set up we add you know the sick af hills gate stage and we do all the things to the arena gonna be freaking epic i can't wait for it but did want to add in again uh to the ring what the what kind of the arena will look like with the elimination chamber this isn't um this isn't my picture this is obviously harrison's pick fed and he is an absolute beast of a pick fetter guys if you don't know who he is definitely go check him out just just type in on youtube harrison pick fed it will be the first thing that pops up on youtube and he has a very great pick fed and i enjoy watching his shows all the time and he is a freaking beast you can also follow him on instagram at fernando g wang and he is just so incredible so this is what his his uh his arena looks like with the elimination chamber sitting inside of it and you guys can kind of see what we're dealing with again you guys can see again that the there's no upper level like if a superstar were to get on top of the ring you would kind of be outside of the chamber so the elimination chamber the way that jacks made the elimination chamber is it's really difficult to do you know a full chamber because the, ch the chamber is so massive to begin with that I don't think they could have made an extra level of wall and then a roof to go over the top because that would have been absolutely massive and they would have it had to have charged more money for it. So what they've done here is, I know we've covered it in many videos before, but I wanted to explain again. You can you can see uh, that if you get on top of the chamber, you you can pretty much get a you could literally jump outside of the elimination chamber if you wanted to. And this elimination chamber necessarily doesn't really keep people out of the elimination chamber. Like people could easily climb over the wall if they wanted to. So uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get some like meshing, like some black gutter mesh, or maybe some custom made stuff. Maybe I can combine the you know the basic chamber that we got from Mattel or whoever made that little basic elimination chamber that we reviewed. Maybe I could take pieces of that put it together with this uh, with this Jax Elimination Chamber in order to create, you know, a full chamber and then stick the roof on top of it. I'm not sure exactly how easy that would be to film inside of. I do not know. We're, we're going to have to, it's going to be a learning process. You know, I'm going to have to learn it and get used to it and everything like that. But I am going to attempt when it is time, I probably need to start testing it and doing some, you know, trial and error before we get there. So I'm not, you know, delaying the release of the show, but I need to get something. I don't know what it'll be. I don't know if it'll be chicken wire or gutter mesh or whatever the hell it is. I need to get something, line the top uh, wall right there or line that wall above where the chamber uh, pods go. And then stick a chamber roof on top of it and just see if I'll be able to make that maneuver, make that work. Because if I do, I think I'm going to keep it. But if I can't make it work, I don't know what we'll do. I guess we'll have to do it like this. Um, my goal is to not do it like this. I want to have an extra chamber wall so that, you know, you can stay inside the chamber and people can do spots. You could still do spots off the top of the chamber pods. And you could still do anything inside the chamber that you could. Except uh, you can't get up as high. Like you couldn't climb to the roof like John Morrison that one time. And you could not uh, probably climb on the wall obviously because there's no wall there to climb on to begin with but uh, this wouldn't keep people out I don't think I don't think that you would be able to keep people out of the chamber if you were to do it this way so that is something else that uh, that I wanted to take note of and show you guys and this is just a rough sketch of what the arena will look like of course I don't use the extreme sets 
uh, and uh, he has a unique stage there. He always changes up his stage, which I love as well, so that's very nice. But again, if you guys have any ideas on the Hell's Gate stage, if you have some, I have, I've literally drawn up like 100 different things. I have some ideas that I want to incorporate, but if you guys have any really cool ideas, again, let me know down in the comment section below. Hit me in my email, hit me on my Instagram, and again, uh, there is, I know I've said it 100 times, but I want to keep plugging it because I want people to know about the show. Uh, at MDT Hell's Gate, there will be two Elimination Chamber matchups, and there will be other matches as well. So not only do you get one Chamber match, you get two Chamber matches for both World Championships. You get uh, two Tag Team Championship match matches, and you get uh, other matches as well that are not quite announced or that will be coming soon. So definitely get ready for that. I know I'm going to get somebody down in the comment section below that is going to ask when the show is. And again, it goes MDT Live Episode 14, it goes Vindication Episode 15, and then it goes MDT Live Episode 15, and then it is Hell's Gate time. And so uh, you guys should get ready for that. I am freaking hyped for it. It should be really freaking awesome. I can't freaking wait. Again, I, I, if, I could, if I could put out tomorrow, I would. If it was possible, I freaking would. But uh, that's not realistic right now. But uh, that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Again, please hit me up on Instagram or my email if you have any ideas. Draw it up. Draw me up some cool things. What do you think the stage should look like? If you have any ideas, please hit me up. I will obviously uh, take it into consideration while trying to build this stage and put it all together. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss Hell's Gate when it is posted. Turn on the bell so that you don't miss any posts because, you know, we're, we're, we're kicking in chicken sandwiches over here. And we're still waiting on our Elite 71. When Elite 71 gets here, we will review the entire set. We will rank the set, and we'll do all the good stuff. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.